hello guys in this video we are going to understand or try to solve a problem based on unique fixed probability vector unique fixed probability vector so first of all the thing is that you need to understand what is probability vector so i have made one video on that also even i have made a video same video on stochastic matrix also you can watch on it okay so fine so basically here they have given they have already said that this given stochastic matrix you have to find the unique fixed probability vector one statement is there that you have to remember that is nothing but every stochastic matrix a suppose it is a or you can denote any of the alphabets p also has unique fixed probability vector v such that v into a is equal to v so v is nothing but the probability unique fixed probability vector okay now the thing is that for this matrix we are going to find suppose this is a matrix we are going to find out the unique fixed probability vectors you have to consider let a or we can say the v v v be the probability unique fixed probability vector such that it is equal to v1 comma v2 okay so we are assuming that it is equal to v1 comma v2 v1 v2 only two variables are there since this one is 2 cross 2 so we will consider 2 okay and the next thing and we have to just substitute here so we have this one so whenever you get unique fixed probability vector you have to remember this thing okay so in place of v you have to place this so it's basically v1 comma v2 this matrix is there 3 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 2 1 by 2 equal to again v1 comma v2 okay now you have to just multiply i hope you know multiplication of the matrix so consider this is the matrix so you have to multiply and remember the comma is there so just what you have to do v1 into this plus v2 into this okay so i'll just show you how to do that so it's basically 3 by 4 v1 plus 1 by 2 v2 okay comma then this part 1 by 4 v1 plus 1 by 2 v2 which is equal to v1 comma v2 and remember this after this two multiplying with this then you have to put comma not in between this okay remember multiplication of this with the column then you have to put comma now the thing is that whenever you get something equal to remember here you can see this part will be equal to v1 and this part will be equal to what v2 so from this i will get two equations so 3 by 4 v1 plus 1 by 2 v2 which will be equal to v1 and 1 by 4 v1 plus 1 by 2 v2 which will be equal to what v2 okay and one more thing you ought to remember that whenever you add v1 plus v2 you will get it as what 1 because of the fact that whenever you see probability vector okay probability vector means when you add the elements of the vector these two elements that should result in what unity that means one always remember so this is one of the equation okay so remember when you consider let v equal to v1 comma v2 you also you should tell that v1 plus v2 is equal to one okay so this is basic definition you can say for the probability vector now now thing is that we have two equations we can just simplify this one so when you simplify this one so 3 by 4 v1 you take it that take this that side so it's basically half v2 is equal to v1 minus 3 by 4 v1 so what is that that is 1 by 4 v1 okay now I should tell you one thing after simplifying you have to solve and get what v1 and v2 that is nothing but the unique unique fixed probability vector okay now which two equations I have to choose that is the thing 
now i want be i will be choosing this one of this equation any of this and this equation now why is that the thing is that when when you solve this two equation you will arrive at the same answer i'll just show you i have done this so it's basically see i have considered two equation which uh, that i have got from here only okay after solving this so when i solve the first equation i'll arrive at this part 1 by 2 v2 is equal to 1 by 4 v1 and when i solve solve means simplify this equation second equation i'll arrive at the same answer same relation between v1 and v2 that means no need to take both the equations okay from this you won't be getting v1 and v2 so what you have to do you have to choose one one equation then what you have to do second equation will be this one okay remember this so basically so no need to simplify both the equation we already know this is because when you add these two elements you will get it as what one when you add these two elements you will get it as one so anyways the after simplifying also the both the equation will result in the same relation that is this one okay you can try with many other questions also so basically after getting this so i'll just we have v1 plus v2 equal to 1 so i'll just shift this thing 1 by 4 v1 minus 1 by 2 v2 is equal to zero i'll put so this is the one equation uh, we consider second equation this is the first equation so we will go we are going to solve this two equation so you can apply any of the method but i will go by the calculator way so we have two equations this and this one so we are going to solve how to solve basically on the calculator press mode plus equation you have to choose the first equation since it is containing only two variables that is v1 and v2 so you have to choose the first one here the values you have to put the coefficient of a b c c is a constant okay so constant should be on the right side okay now a is 1 i'm putting the coefficient of this equation 1 1 and 1 and the second part is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 and 0 so 1 divided by 4 1 one minus no minus 1 divided by 2 and 0 so after getting you will get x equal to this value that means it is v1 whatever you are giving the first value that is basically v1 so v1 we got it as 2 by 3 and v2 is equal to what v2 is basically 1 by 3 1 by 3 okay so from this what you can get so when you add this two it should result in what one just take it up 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 what is that it's basically one so the basic thing is that we have got the uh, v that is unique fixed probability vector that is 2 by 3 comma 1 by 3 okay simple so this is based on the 2 cross 2 matrix